Okay, just to cover this problem, um, essentially what's going on here is that there is a mass going with some initial velocity and all of a sudden it comes to a speed of zero and is completely at rest. So the only explanation for this is that friction has acted upon it and has slowed it down to, uh, to having no speed. So what we need to do is we need to find the work due to kinetic friction or friction on a moving object. Um, essentially what's going on here is we have to use the law of conservation of energy which states that the initial energy is going to be equal to the final energy in the next snapshot. So there's no potential energy. So the U terms go to zero because there's no gravity to act on the masses since it's on a flat surface. And what we have is the initial kinetic energy plus the work due to friction is equal to the final kinetic energy, which is zero because the velocity is zero, and this is the formula for kinetic energy, which is one half mv squared. So if that goes to zero, that must mean the initial kinetic energy is going to be equal to the negative of work final, which will just be um, work final is equal to negative one half mv naught squared. And if you want to look at why it's negative, um, it's due to the direction. So if you vectorize um, friction and displacement, friction is going in the negative x hat direction or to the left, dot product with displacement going in the positive x direction, meaning the object is being displaced positive. This becomes negative x hat dot x hat, which just becomes negative one. And that is why your work becomes negative. That should answer your question.